Good day, brethren. You're welcome to our CCG New Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by our Father and the Lord, the General of of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. Adeboye. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 26 to June 2024, our topic is God will empower you. Memory verse is taken from Second Peter chapter 1, verse 3, which says, According as his divine power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue. Our text is taken from Isaiah 41, from verses 10 to 13. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them, and shalt not find them. Even them that contend with thee, they that war against thee shall be as nothing, and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. In John 20, verse 21, Jesus said, As my Father hath sent me, even so I send you. In Matthew 10, verse 40, he said, He that receiveth you receiveth me, and he that receiveth me receiveth him that sent me. The work of ministry is an assignment from the Father. So when you when you are called to do something, you must be sure that God himself is backing you up. In John 5, verse 30, Jesus said, I can of my own self do nothing. This is good because whatever you are to do for God, you cannot do it by yourself, but the Father who sent you will back you up. It is good news because all you have to do is tell him, I can't do it, Lord, but I know you can do it through me. There is something called the God factor. Let God do it. However, he can only do it if you are willing to cooperate. If you believe he can do it, he will do it. If you believe that he can use you to heal the sick, you will have to pay the price, and then you will produce the results. Whatever assignment God gives you that seems impossible, talk to him, do your part, and it will, it will yield results through you. So we have been made to understand that for God's work, for the work of the ministry, uh, if God, if it's truly God that is sending you, God will back you up. If it's truly God that is saying you should do it, God will back you up. You know, some people do the work of the ministry out of just their own volition or for their own personal gain. But if it's God that truly sent you, it will back you up. It will give you the power that you need to yield results. It will yield those results through you. Typically, what God asks um, men to do seems impossible to them, seems great, seems, you know, it's something that they cannot do themselves. And so when God gives you one of such assignments, it is wise for us to turn to him and ask him to help us, ask him to empower us. If we submit ourselves to him, ask him to help us, then he will walk miracles through us. It will yield results through us. For example, you cannot heal the sick as a person, but God can heal the sick through you. You cannot save someone as a person, but God can save people through you. So whatever God is asking you to do, he can empower you to do it, and then he will yield the results through you. In Yoruba land, one of the names we call God is Oromonishe Fayati. It means the one who sends a child on an assignment and backs the child up. When God sends you on an assignment, He stays with you and empowers you to ensure that you fulfill the assignment. Many people don't fulfill their assignments because they hardly go to God for instructions. They start the work quite alright, but they hardly pray for direction. Whereas it is in the place of prayers that God will give them instructions on each step to take. They keep doing everything to make the work succeed. But when it is time to make decisions, they don't ask God for the best decisions to make. After a while, when they realize that they are not fulfilling the assignment, they accuse him of helping others and not helping them. So, we are also be made to understand that God is the one that will send you on an errand, give you an assignment, and will back you up. But many people hardly pray for direction when even when they have an assignment from God. You know God is leading you in a particular direction. You just go ahead and start putting effort. You are not asking for directions. What should I do? How should I go about it? Who should I speak to? You know, all those little, little details. The decision-making should come from God. So, if we don't do that, 
you find out that you have expended so much effort, wasted a lot of time, and you are not achieving results. We should not forget that the assignment originally belongs to God, and God knows how it should be done. So even when God gives you an assignment, don't just start running with it. Ask Him for how to do it, so that you don't waste effort, you don't waste energy, you don't waste your time, you don't waste your gifts and ability. Beloved, you cannot do anything by yourself, according to John 15 verse 5. The work God has given to you to do cannot be done by your power or might, but by his spirit. If you really want to fulfill destiny, don't lean on your own understanding, lean on God. So whatever God is asking you to do, he's not just sending you to go alone. He wants to go together with you. He wants to be involved in decision making. He wants to be involved in the process. Let us carry God along. Let us involve him in our decision making. Don't try to do it with your own power, with your own wisdom, with your own understanding. Commit it to God's hand. Wait for his leading and his direction. And he will help you to fulfill that purpose. So our reflection says, are you depending totally on God to help you fulfill your destiny? So are you depending totally on God to help you fulfill your destiny? Let's think about it. Let's think about all those assignments God has given us. And now we are going about them. Are we using our own effort? our own understanding, our own wisdom, or we are relying on God for his help. And I pray God will help us in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for your word to us this morning. We ask, Father, that you help us not to trust our own understanding and wisdom and our own um, strength or um, effort, but help us to totally rely on you. Help us to depend on you. Help us to involve you in our decision-making and help us to be successful in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name of prayer. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.